what is going on my divine masculine what's going on you guys it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again to let you know what your daily bread is for today tuesday april the 23rd and tomorrow april the 24th all right which is wednesday shout out to all my new subscribers what's going on what's going on hey 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 what's going on with you thank you guys for showing love light and support <clears throat> excuse me um if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading you can do so click that about tab you'll see a couple links there first thing you need to do is click that booking tab which is scorpion reds tarot at simply book me and again that's scorpion reds tarot at simply book me after you book with me, you need to select a video platform. Um, my Instagram uh, link is right under my booking on my about tab, as well as my email address, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you do not have an Instagram and if you prefer to use Google Hangouts, you can use that email again, scorpionreds at gmail.com to send me a message on Google Hangouts, okay? So that we can link up on either Google Hangouts or on Instagram for the video reading, okay? If you do not feel comfortable with doing a video reading, there's a $10 additional fee, uh, which is an add-on to the uh, to the video uh, that you purchased, Lord, the video that you purchased, to the booking that you purchased so that you can have a direct video upload to YouTube, all right? It's a private link that you'll get uh, to YouTube, it's an additional ten dollars on top of whatever reading that you select. Excuse me for me being tongue tied. Anyway, if this video resonates and if you want to give love and light to the page, you can do so. Um, my uh, PayPal is in the description as well as the about tab. If you want to feel free to give a dollar, two or three, that is greatly appreciated. All right, let's get into the reading because I am not re-recording this video. I don't care how much I fumble today. All right, so listen. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Masculine. Please give him nourishment. Please give him daily bread. Please give him overall guidance and steps to lead him to uh, happiness, abundance, true love, and prosperity. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much for all of the celebration and um, fellowship and being able to uh, rekindle a lot of lost relationships over the past uh, Easter weekend. Thank you so much for all of the blessings. Please give us divine guidance for the divine masculine for April the 23rd and the 24th, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you so much again. All right. <laughs> Guidance for the divine masculine. <laughs> King of Swords, Knight of Wands. All right. Searching for truth and clarity. Just moving forward with, you know, with your mind first. Knowing just what you want and going after what you want. I'm going to keep hearing in this search for truth. I feel like a search, a search for truth and cutting out things that don't need to be there is going to kick forward this passion for you to move forward passionately towards something that you really want. That's what I'm getting. But it's going to start off this week with a search for truth. It says... Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself, knowing what's best for you. Yeah, that's why they're searching for that. Use your time well. Hmm. Set, make every moment count. It's in the reverse.
These spreads is just very color coded. <laughs> it's very orangey, very sh sacral shocky down here. And it's very, uh, what I want to say, throat chakra, root chakra y up here. I feel like I feel like today is about you getting your mind together, learning how to take your own advice. Like you know, what I, I, I feel like for some reason, like if it came down to someone else, if you had to give someone else advice about your situation, you wouldn't know what to say to them. But you don't know what to say to yourself. I feel like you're still searching for truth within yourself. Um, what's this? The Hermit in Reverse, yeah. The Knight of Wands again. Knight of Wands again. You moving towards someone very passionately. Like very, like fast. It's like you, you want to make movement. And I feel like you, with that, use your time well. Like you don't feel like you have enough time. Like in this card, the sun is setting. And I feel like the bond master knows that and they have to get their self together. But whatever it is that spirit is trying to teach them, they don't want to be exposed to everyone. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't want, they don't want to be uh, a spectacle, a spectacle for, for people to look at, kind of, if that makes any sense. So, like... What I'm kind of getting at, it's like, maybe it's like Divine Masculine wants to speak up and, and, and wants to actually take some action towards whatever this thing is that they want passionately. Because um, they don't feel like they have a lot of time. And they definitely feel like it's a lesson that's being taught here. That they're having to use their dominance and, you know, you know. Use their horns. Like blow your horn almost. Like you, you want. Even though it's not like a horn to be blown on the pitch. I feel like you need to be heard. But I don't feel like the guy masculine wants to be heard in a public setting. If that makes any sense. They don't want to. Like it does. I don't feel like they don't want to. Whatever it is. They don't want it to be done in social media. You know, for like everyone, for like the whole world to see them pouring their heart out, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Because all of this night of wands energy is like you're determined. You're determined to be heard. You're determined to be for people to feel your energy. For that time. It's like almost I want I want you want someone to understand. Like how serious this is to you. But whatever the lesson is or whatever comes out of it, I don't feel like you want it to to to, to be done in front of everyone. Ace of Swords, yeah, like I said. Being Arthur, being the chosen one to pull that Can't never just do a video and I have a interruption. I can't never do a video. Oh, this was the foundation that you lost already. That's why you're feeling like that. a shit show you're giving away your power wow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Like up here, I know today, like your whole thing is learning how to trust your own advice, trust your own thoughts, looking for truth, looking for clarity, truth and clarity within yourself. Like, you know, realizing that before you can really step out and try to work on this bond being strengthened, uh, you have to be gentle, you have to be kind, and you have to be truthful. You have to be truthful. The Knight of Pentacles. All of these knights. It's a lot of knight energy. You need to grow all the way up and boss up into a king. But I definitely see that you're trying to... You're rushing passionately. Vigorously passionately to someone. To offer them a solid foundation. Like I feel like you want to begin something all over again it was something that you had a solid foundation there your old home like your old home almost like maybe some some of you guys might have moved from your old home you want to rush forward passionately and, and put an offer in for you know the keys to your old home you want the keys to your old home back oh the answer is no damn New balance. Wow. Wow. So, I just said something about the keys to you getting your own home back. And then that flipped out big as day. The answer is no. No, sir. No, sir. All right. So, Divine Masculine, let's see what we got going on here. <clears throat> so, it looks like Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay? So, that was like Humpty Dumpty's uncle or some shit like that. Like, this is like the other uh, Dumpty or something. And this one, no better. Okay? Because I think that have, have it be by his own mistakes or the mistakes of others, he's learning how to use his sword and cut things out that no longer is you know serving him in the best way possible and even cutting out certain actions that maybe he might have put into play that um were not for you know his the, his better good okay so as you can see he has that book he's been studying i feel like divine masculine has really been going through like a deep soul searching journey here all right and um uh, right now he feels that he's king and he's only dealing with things that make sense, truth, clarity, things that kind of add up and that are kind of balancing uh, uh, the scales for him, if you, if, you, if you will. So right now, I feel like Divine Masculine is kind of living by his own law right now um, in his King of Swords energy. Now this says, follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. Know what is best for you. So, that's why I say I feel like the bi-masculine has been going through like a soul-searching journey. Trying to figure out what's best for him because I feel like in the past he might not have been making the best decisions. In the reverse, this says refusal to listen to yourself. Making the same mistakes over and over. Feeling that if you become emotional, others will step in to rescue you. Thinking that all is doom and gloom. Becoming dogged down emotionally. Unable to think clearly. So, yeah. It's a, a feeling that if you become emotional, others will step up and it will step in to rescue you. Um, I think you know this time around no one's going to step in to rescue you. You know? I think you know that, Divine Masculine. That's not something that is even up for debate or argument. That's something that we know. So, you are, you follow your own good advice. You know now that you have to come to a point within yourself that you not only just knowing the law, but literally following the law. And I understand that you're governing your own law, but just making sure that it makes sense. If you, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure that it makes sense. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again and wondering why you keep getting the same results. 
you know, and wonder why certain bonds are not being strengthened. You see? Because right now you got to get yourself rooted. You got to get yourself planted, you know, and you can't keep making the same mistakes over and over and over and over again, trying to follow your own rules. You know, if following your own rules are not leading you to the place in and in, 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 in where you're able to secure the bonds and strengthen the bonds that you really want to strengthen, you know, then maybe you need to follow traditional rules then. You see what I'm saying? So this is Divine Masculine realizing that maybe the way that he's been governing his life that he felt was just and fair and honorable in his right, in his mind, isn't necessarily the most noble thing to be doing. And I feel like he's coming to the truth about that. He's realizing that. And um, I believe that he's growing up a lot. He's growing up a lot. But it's about... Finding truth and knowing that you can't continue to make the same mistakes and expect different results. You know what I'm saying? And this is that hermit in the reverse. I feel like the divine masculine has seriously gone through a very deep soul searching moment. And he has brought himself out of the darkness. He has brought himself out of the darkness. Right now, he is sheltering himself. Okay? He is sheltering himself. He, okay, so if this makes any sense, all right? So what is it saying? Soul searching. And it says soul searching. I told you he went through soul searching. He's been, He's gone through the soul searching. He's come out of that period of soul searching. He knows exactly what he wants. However, he is sheltering himself and he is covering himself from undesirables. Does that make sense? He's, he's, he's covering himself from undesirables because throughout the soul searching experience, I think that the Divine Masculine realized with this King of uh, Swords that it was certain things that needed to be cut out. Not just with him cutting, cutting certain things out, but him cutting certain people out too. And, and just like this said, just like this said, and I repeat, where's the book? Um, you know, making the same, what did this say? A refusal to listen to yourself, making the same mistakes over and over. Feeling that if you become emotional, others will step in and rescue you. Thinking that all is doom and gloom. Becoming bogged down emotionally, unable to think clearly. So, listen. You realize that that ain't the cup of tea. That ain't the tea, baby. That is not the tea. No one is coming to rescue. You got to cut this shit out on your own. You got to stop making these mistakes on your own. That's the only way if you want certain bonds to be strengthened. Because I feel like it's something or someone very important to you that because of your refusal to see certain things that you needed to cut out, it, 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 it tarnished something. It tarnished something almost forever. And you had to go through this deep soul searching for you to see that. And now you're sheltering yourself. I want to say you're sheltering yourself from your old behavior, from the old temptations, if you will. You're sheltering yourself. You put an umbrella around yourself because you are worried about that root chakra. You know, gentleness. It says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. But this is in the reverse. And this is another thing that you need to come to truth about. Alright? You need to gentle with yourself. With your environment and the people that you have around you. You need to put an umbrella. You need to shelter and protect yourself. Alright? From these people that are not so gentle. This is another thing that you need to come to reality and face the truth about this. All right? Right? You're different than these other people. Like Arthur. His bloodline was different. His bloodline was the only one who could pull that sword out of the stone. You're different. Okay? In order for you to grow and for you to really... Like, it's, it's, it's like, you need to shelter yourself from these people that are not gentle, for these people that really do not mean you no well, okay? Because you look like a shit show. 
You look like a shit show hanging around these people. It says you're a hot mess. Fat. Clean yourself up. You need to clean yourself up and clean up your environment and the people that are around you. All right? This is nine of wands. Right now, I feel like you, divine masculine, do you see this man? Right now, do you see this woman is trying to finesse him and he's looking vulnerable and he's looking scared like, you know, he know he needs to protect himself from this person, you know, and he shouldn't trust this individual, you know, this red hair vixen, like he knows he should not trust. And you see this person in the background trying to shine a light on his situation so he can see. You see, it's all of these signs in the background like, look, nigga, listen, look, pay attention, pay attention. Don't trust this hoe. Don't trust this hoe. You better put a, you better put a block up. Look, you better, you better protect yourself. You better protect yourself. Should you trust this person? The answer is no. And the situation dry. You understand? Okay. This is someone feeling like they have to defend their self. You know, this is someone feeling like they've been in a battle of their life. And, and, and if they continue in a situation, in this dry ass situation, that spirit is already telling them, no, don't enter back into um, that you're going to be having to defend yourself once again and, and you're going to have to fight once more when you're possibly already worn down and fatigued and you're, you're, and it's just like man dude it's like you, you want to give your you want to give in and you want to trust this person but everything in your spirit is telling you the answer is no do not trust this situation it's going to suck you dry do you understand whatever is this situation is that you're being tantalized with okay whoever this is they're gonna suck you dry yet again and you look like a shit show in this situation you need to come you need to like seriously like open up your open up your eyes and come to terms with a situation okay you really do because this is about a lot of soul searching and looking for clarity and truth and getting yourself grounded and protecting yourself and protecting your environment and stop and, and listen and stop listening to that old advice of yours you need to follow your own good advice you need to trust yourself you need to know what's best for you that's what you're searching searching for what's best for you because you know those old mistakes and shit that you would you know that that shit wasn't good ain't nobody going to come save you you have to strengthen these bonds on your own by getting yourself grounded okay you have to finish the soul searching. Uh, you have to finish the soul searching. You have to figure it out exactly what you want and what you need. And then you have to protect it. You have to protect it at all costs. You have to protect it by first cleaning up your environment. Knowing that that is the true cause of a lot of the shit that you're going through. Because you look like a shit show. You know, and you know that you need to put up a guard and a, and, 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 and a barrier up with these people and you're not doing it. You know what I'm saying? And should you continue to entertain these people? The answer is no. Hell no. These people suck you dry. And you need to clean up your environment, divine masculine. So let's see what's going on for Thursday. You're giving your power away. All right, so we're starting off Thursday with the Knight of Wands energy. You are just rushing forward, just passionately. Like I feel like it's it, you feel like you're on a time clock, and that's what it says right here. Because for you to be moving this fast, it's just like. You, your search for clarity was confirmed by search of clarity. The, the, the point that you're moving fast and passionately is being confirmed by the, you moving fast and passionately. And you feeling like your time is up, that you don't have a lot of time in the situation. It says, use your time well. Make every moment count. But for some reason, it's like you're moving forward, but... For some reason, it's like you're not making it count. You're not. What's going on? It says in the reverse. This means B 
being available to one and all. Exhausting yourself by answering questions that are not asked with the right intentions. Whoa. Squandering your precious time. Lack of appreciation for your time. Being prepared to migrate yourself to help others. Feeling helpless like a victim of time. Spending time on unsolvable problems. Having little impact due to the time being wasted. Feeling pointlessly harassed. Wow. Wow. I get it. I get it now. Divine Masculine is running. Is running passionately away from something that they feel is a complete waste of their fucking time. Okay. They're moving passionately away from something that they feel like is a complete waste of time. Because I feel like Divine Masculine knows that they don't have a lot of time like left in regards to making certain things happen that they want to make happen by a certain age. or so You know you know how certain people have um, certain goals in their life. They want to be married by this time. They want to have a house. They want to have this. They want to have that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Like Divine Masculine feels like they're running out of time. And it's like... I'm burning myself out. Like, I really do feel like they feel like they're burning themselves out. Spending a lot of time and energy on something that is pointless and worthless to them at this time. They feel like spirit is trying to teach them a lesson. And I feel like they don't like this lesson that's being taught to them. But nevertheless, they don't want to be embarrassed publicly. And I feel like that they might be going through something in the public eye that they don't want. They don't want whatever this lesson is that they're being taught to be uh, displayed in the public for everyone. You know what I'm saying? It's like almost like embarrassment. And I feel like they're running. They're rushing far, far away. They're moving very fast away from something that they feel like is a complete waste of time. And someone that is, what did they say? Harassing? What did they say? What did that say? I'm so sorry. I don't even know why I put the book back up. It says, being available to all in one. Being available to one and all, ex exhausting yourself by answering questions that are not asked with the right intentions. I feel like y'all feel like y'all are being badgered by someone. Y'all are being badgered by someone. Someone's like harassing you. Like that's what it's saying, harassing you. Squandering your precious time, a lack of appreciation for your time. Being prepared to migrate yourself to help others. It feels like you... You feel like you're being forced to help someone that you don't necessarily want to be involved with. Feeling helpless like a victim. Spending time on unsolvable problems like y'all are not going to be able to solve. Like time will never solve this. And it's like you being forced to spend time and help someone that you don't. You feel like a victim. Having little time due to your time being wasted. Feeling pointlessly harassed. That is like some serious shit there. That is some serious shit there. Feeling pointlessly harassed. Feeling like you're having to answer questions about shit that you shouldn't even be dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like you're being almost like scold, scalded and being taught a lesson in front of a class. And Divine Masculine ain't for that shit. They ain't for that shit. And that is being clarified by them again, passionately moving on to a new adventure. Like fast. Dominance. They don't they have to take dominance over their own life. They're grabbing life by the horns. Like they're taking dominance over their life. They're like, you're not gonna be coming over here questioning me, asking me a whole bunch of bullshit. Did this whole situation with you is a waste of time? And I'm like moving away fast as shit you know what i'm saying divine masculine doesn't feel safe in this situation it says i am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you your loved ones in your home they don't feel that they are safe they don't feel that their loved ones are, are safe and they feel like this is a low energy this is a low energy of dominance and they're not for it all right whatever home inv investment that they've made here um uh, it, it wasn't worth the money like whatever um, 
whatever money was invested into this home, into this foundation, um, by masculine doesn't feel like it's worth the investment. Uh, they feel like they gave away their power too much in this situation. And it's saying, Divine Masculine, you're a badass. Act like it. Divine Masculine feels like they gave their power away. And they're a badass. And they're about to show you who the fuck they are. They're moving over. They're moving over. And they're moving out the way. That Knight of Pentacles. It might have took them a minute to get their ass up and move. But and now that they moving, they're moving. You know? And I'm trying to tell you that they're moving fast because you have the Knight of uh, of the Knight of Wands twice in here. So it's telling you twice that he's moving double times fast to offer something solid and sturdy to the person that he really feels like it needs to be offered to, to the person that he feels like deserves this. He just got to get himself balanced. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to balance the scales that was unbalanced. Like right now, these, ba these scales are unbalanced and he's balancing the scales right now. And he's moving fast and... and, and Furious towards a person that he feels like should should truly be offered this. Okay? So let's put this back on the table. So yeah, Divine Masculine, he's searching for truth. And the truth is telling him that he needs to be grounded. He needs to figure out exactly what his desires are. You know what I'm saying? And he needs to shelter it. He needs to search for this truth. He needs to understand it. He needs to clean up himself. He needs to clean up his environment. And, and once he gets his environment and he gets himself grounded and rooted, he needs to shelter it. He needs to take care of it. He needs to appreciate it. Give me some additional guidance here. I did this for the Divine Feminine Daily Bread. So I'm going to go for this. Give me some additional guidance for the Divine Masculines. For today and tomorrow, Thursday. Give me guidance about Thursday. Because I think I did Thursday for the ladies. Moving away passionately. Vigorously. Fast. Felt like you gave your power away. Give me additional guidance. Seven of Wands. It's conflict. Eight of Swords. Felt like you were in a mental prison. The moon. There was some secrets going on. Page of Wands. Feel like y'all might have found some hidden messages. That's why you retreated. That's why you retreating. Hmm. So, to clarify... This spread right here on Thursday while they're moving away. Because it was too much of a fucking conflict. You know? And it, it's just like... It's too much of a conflict. And, and and Divine Masculine feels like they're on a rocky foundation. Like a very muddy foundation. Like they're in a um, quicksand. Like they're sinking. Like someone blindfolded them and kind of pushed them in quicksand and in a mental prison they feel like they're in a prison and they're literally on their bending knees praying to god like please i do not want to go in this battle you know this is someone going through battle through a lot of um gossip through it's a lot of gossip it's a lot of uh verbal back and forth a lot of uh Mental manipulation. There's a lot of uh, possibly physical uh, combats as well. And uh, Divine Masculine is like, I, I don't. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> like he's literally on his knees praying his way out of this situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Praying his way out of this situation. He feels like he's in prison. Like he's in prison. He feels like he's in prison. Not only that. He feels like there's some secrets going on. There's some shit going on in the background that he doesn't know about. And it's been brought to his attention. Page of Wands. He might have felt some passionate messages. Okay? He might have found some passionate messages that made him realize that maybe this isn't all of what I thought it was. 
and um, it's time for me to treat, retreat and get my mind together. So right now, Divine Masculine is in a, you know, a, a resting state. Divine Masculine is resting, getting their thoughts and getting their mind together. In regards to their new beginning, as you can see, those butterflies are there. But they found some messages that they didn't like. They found something that they didn't like. They found some messages that was the start of something new, something passionate. And the moon led them to that light, okay? And they seen something that they didn't mean to see, wasn't supposed to see. But once they seen it, they couldn't unsee it. And once they seen it, they had to retreat. And they already felt like they were in a mental prison and having to battle for their life in this situation. So why do it? Why? Let's get some additional guidance here in regards to this situation. Please give the divine masculine some sign from spirit in regards to this situation. pen creation rapid soul development comes from challenging times for uh you guys 777 so you guys might be seeing the repeated oh in orange enthusiasm excitement warm oh i feel like the fall time is going to be very important to you guys yellow confidence success success happiness optimism i feel like you guys are finally free and you guys are looking towards the fall. You guys are looking towards the fall for some reason. That's what I'm getting. And right now, y'all are in a state of just feeling tidal waves, disturbance. What is this? Morning. Oh, okay. Okay, so... This is what I'm getting, guys. Right now, rapid rapid change is happening right now. It's time to use your pen. Write down what you're feeling. All of these emotions and things that you're going through right now, Divine Masculine. These prayers, whatever you're praying, when you're praying to God, start writing them down. Write it down, okay? Write it down. As is, it, it is written, and so it shall be. Start writing down um, your manifestations and the things that you really want for the future. Because like I said, right now you're in solitude. You're in peace. You're in healing. You're trying to get your mind together into the future. 777. Rapid soul development comes from challenging times. Like I told you guys, you guys were going through soul searching. You're coming to your moments of truth. You're realizing that. Your environment is very much so a big part of what you need to umbrella, and what you need to shelter yourself from. You need to shelter yourself from this harsh environment. You need to have a more gentle environment, all right? It says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environment. This is something that you need to recognize that you're not recognizing. You need to shelter yourself from these type of people, all right? Orange, all right? I take that as, you know, the fall. Enthusiasm, incitement, and warmth. You are starting to feel that orange glow around you. Excitement, warmth, okay? I got orange and yellow, so these are your colors. Orange and yellow. Enthusiasm, excitement, warmth, confidence, success, happiness, optimism. This is what you're feeling. These are maybe some colors that may be attracting you at this point in time. Maybe if you see a lot of women wearing orange and yellow, that might be a little tantalizing to your eyes at this moment because that's what you're feeling at this moment. Okay. And as we can see here, tidal wave, disturbance, and mourning. So you guys. You know, have most definitely had a disturbance in your life and that you may be mourning something from the past. All right. There was a disturbance in your life that you're mourning. 
all right but at the same time you are more happy in, in the colors that that are around you or more vibrant than anything of the past i feel like you are finally free now and you're finally able to i guess kind of address and maybe face and deal with certain things from the past to kind of finally mourn them and get it out your way because of you know i feel there was a big disturbance there was a big tidal wave that hits you and it hits you hard and i feel like right now is the time to deal with these things it's time to deal with these issues it's time to go through the soul searching journey and come out stronger Come out grounded so that you can actually strengthen bonds. You see what I'm saying? And actually able to take your advice and trust your advice. You know, because you know that you done had that moment of truth. You know that you are sheltered. You know what I'm saying? You've, you, you've sheltered yourself away from people that are not gentle, that are not kind, that are not deserving of your precious energy. You know that to be true now. You know that to be true now. That you're different. You're a king. You see what I'm saying? You know that to be true now. Put your crown on. Don't let it sit there. Pick your sword up. Cut people out that need to be cut out and put your crown on. Right now you're looking like a shit show. You're a hot ass mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. You know that to be fact. You know this is something that you need to do. You need to put your guard up and stop just inviting anything into your goddamn environment. All right? Stop environment fucking harlots in your life to keep sucking you damn dry. You got to do it. Wrap it. Soul development comes from challenging times it does so if you've been seeing a number 777 repeatedly that's a message from spirit okay it's time for creation it's time to create this new environment it's time for you to wake up okay mourn whatever it is all right this tidal wave that hit you mourn it let it go i need you to feel the colors yellow confidence success happiness optimism enthusiasm excitement warmth i need you to feel these colors i need you to vibrate you get me? All right. I love you, Divine Masculine. Listen, if you're ready to move forward, let it go. Run. Run, Forrest. Run. I love you. Peace.